many adventures along the way, um, and it does have a happy ending, and that's one thing that I um, am adamant about, is I want all of my books to have happy endings, because I do want that, that feeling of triumph. You know, I've, I've come through this, and um, even though at times the situation seemed impossible, I was able to um, not only survive, but triumph. Um, then Unrevealed, this was actually my first full novel. Um, this is about a young woman who finds that um, her father has left her his textile industry that's based in Manhattan. And when she takes over as a CEO, she discovers that her family, including the maid in their um, Long Island mansion, has kept a secret from her. So she is on a quest to find out what that secret is, and she knows somehow it involves her. Um, and then The Dark Room is, is my heaviest book, but I feel like it has the most triumph. Um, and this, I will, I will tell you that uh, there's a trigger warning. If you have been abused, um, you, it, it may trigger some flashbacks. So just give you that warning, because I am going to read you from this one. Um, this, this book is a hard sell, and that's what I want to focus on it today. Um, a lot of times when I'm at a book signing or a book show, I start to describe that this is about child abuse and and um, domestic abuse, you know, people say, oh no, there's enough, enough of that stuff going on, I don't need to read about it. But you know what? We do need to read about it. We need to know about it. We need to know that it's prevalent and it's across all, all segments of, of society. Um, so I tried to make it entertaining, but then subtly educational as well. I wanted um, people who are being who are in the, a situation of either mental or physical abuse, to understand that there is a way out. Um, and so the way I brought in the educational piece was after Stella, excuse me, <coughs> um, who is the battered woman, after she finds her way to a shelter, she is required to take classes, um, you know, they're required to be uh, take counseling um, from the uh, psychiatrist who is at the shelter. And this is how I, I get little pieces of um, suggestions out there for uh, anybody who might be reading it, who might know somebody who's in a situation uh, of abuse or who, who maybe is in that situation herself. And of course, men are abused too. But primarily women and children, so that's what I focus on in this book. So I am going to read from this, um, but let me tell you about my latest book. It is not a novel. It is, it's a book of Christian devotions. And this was, um, I guess you would say, prompted by the pandemic. This was definitely my pandemic project. I started um, a year ago, January. And there are um, devotions for each week. What has Daddy been doing to her? Her voice was getting louder. And she started looking around to make sure nobody heard her. Tell Mama, she said. Her eyes born into mine like she wanted to kill me. Oh, Amy, I'm so sorry. I said, trying to figure a way to tell her so she, she wouldn't go completely crazy. I was shaking and hard. Then I started talking real fast so she couldn't interrupt me. She's okay, but she ain't been going to school or nothing. She's six years old now, and she looks just like you did at that age. She don't talk much, but I tell her about her mama all the time. I know she remembers you, and she knows you love her, and you want to be with her. I told Jody I, I got a plan, and she and me will be leaving Hank soon. I'll get you a good lawyer, and I'll get you out of prison so we can be together. Well, the fast talking did not work. So he stopped me in the middle of my blathering and looked at horror. I tortured that pretty face. She growled in a voice I didn't recognize. What the hell has Daddy done to my baby? It's going to be okay. She's going to be okay, I promise. When, um, when Edith did not even Stella, when Stella is in the uh, women's shelter 
and when um, everyone is gathered, you know, in their group meetings, and they all talk about their situation. So that's how I brought in the uh, the educational piece. But yes, it took a lot of research. For example, I didn't know anything about um, about the penal system in North Carolina. I didn't know anything about the court system, and I have a couple of courtroom scenes. Um, so, and I also used a couple of real life lawyers um, uh, to, to counsel me. I, I had um, two of them read the, the court scenes and say, you know, is this accurate? Is this something that could actually happen?